of master um, traditional yang style tai chi chuan for beginners in his last lecture he talked about the single whip and especially the leg movement uh, in that specific step um, and also uh, with as usual we've done the warm-up and then the previous um, three steps so today we will have more of this specific form and we had to change the date because this coming Saturday and the Sunday, which is the 17th and 18th of um, December, we will have a big online event. So if you have time, you are more than welcome to join us. That will be a two days event, bilingual in English and Chinese. On the first day, that's the open ceremony of the second traditional European uh, Tai Chi cultural forum. Uh, on the first day, Master Fu will have his demonstration and also a mini lecture on three hearts in Tai Chi. And then on the second day, which is the Sunday, 18th of December, we will have a very, very interesting communication and a talk about Tai Chi and modern science, modern medicine, and uh, psycholo psychology. So we will discuss about two uh, clinical cases with neuroscientists, clinical psychologists, uh, and uh, some Thai, uh, Chinese doctor and the Chinese Tai Chi practitioners. So there will be a lot of information, especially on how science has proved Tai Chi is very beneficial on our physical health and mental health. So again, you are more than welcome to join us on this coming Saturday and Sunday. Uh, we will post the advert on our WhatsApp group. You will have the date, the time, and the platform, the medium. There'll be Zoom and the wolf uh, on the post, okay? Thank you, Master Fu. The stage is yours now. Okay, thank you, Isabella. Okay, uh, good afternoon, my dear Tai Chi friends. In China, it's good evening now. Okay, so uh, coming week, we have a wonderful event the Tai Chi Forum, the second Europe Tai Chi culture. So we are really looking forward. And uh, it is, I will have a demonstration and uh, have a mini speech about uh, three heart of Tai Chi. So today we are, it is because we have the forum. So we are making the class early one weeks. So, <clears throat> Today is a continue my Tai Chi beginners class. Last lesson, we are up to single whip. So again, welcome my dear friends and we are practice together. And firstly, still we need a three set of the movement to get bodies warm first. Okay, just follow me. We do together, okay? Okay, first movement, you lift up your arms, okay? Above, over your head and making a circle. Your arms to the right side of your body and then circle to the front and drop your arms down. And at the same time, you are bending your knee, squatting and the turn 
left up. Okay, just making a big circle. And this warm up exercise is really good for your body balance. It looks very simple, easy movements, but it is does really good work and good stretching your body and also in practicing your mind. Circle my arms to the right and you can see my hips to the left and scooping down and my arm to the right, left and my hips opposite. Right, down, left, up. Okay. First is clockwise, making a circle. Thumbs up, breathing. Arms down, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Okay, now change. We are doing empty clockwise. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, now, come down. So I'm doing a 10 times circle clockwise and the 10 times anti-clockwise. Now, we're doing the big twisting. So lift up arms and twisting your arms, okay? Silk rolling, we're talking about, and elbows back and move your palms back. And when your arms around to your front, then you're bending your knee. And make sure your tailbone is holding up. Okay, and palm to palm. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathing, turn palms up. Elbows back, elbows out of your body, okay? Not inside your body, out of your body. So your palm will be past your armpit. Okay, now go back. Breathing and breathe out. And nose breathe, mouth breathe out. In, breathe in. Breathe out. 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 Scoping down. Okay, I turn my body to the side. 
you can see, okay, your body is, the tailbone is holding up, not stick out, okay, it's holding. And your body is just very natural. You don't have to be squat to the front, but also it's not to firm your chest. It just arm this cross. Like have a hug, a very natural hug movement. Okay, and breathing in, elbows back. You can see from the, my side. Okay. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, now, so this is a 10 times. Okay, this is what we call the big silk rolling. Okay, the last exercise is a stretching your lower body tendons, muscles. Okay. So I turn us right to the side and squatting. Okay, just warming up your knee. <clears throat> okay, then push back, stretch, and also massage, rolling your knees. Especially now, it's winter. Spe uh, I mean, China and Europe, Australia is the summer, <laughs> but Almost the country now is in the winter season. So especially the joint, the knee, we have to be warm up before we doing the exercise. Okay, then bend knee, heel down, okay. Okay, push back, stretch a little bit. Okay, thank you. All right, this is three times. Now, use your fingers, touch your toe and stretch. Stretching your legs, okay? Keep your body not too straight. Leg have to be straight, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Hey, good. Now, squatting again. Now, use a fist so it's getting more narrow and stretch. Push up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Don't drop your head, okay? This is wrong. Lift up your head. <clears throat> okay, now, again, back. Now, use your palm to touch your toe. This is even more stretch. Lift up. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. All right, lift up your head and breathe in. Okay. All right, so this is three set of the warm up exercise. It's very simple, but it is great for your body. Okay, so uh, first is we call the big circle. So we just make around clockwise and anti-clockwise. Looks easy, but really good 
for your body balance. You can see, okay? My arm to the right, my body to the left. My arm to the left, my body to the right. So this is a great exercise, especially for a little bit uh, the, the, the uh, old age. Yeah, this is uh, great. Even just doing that kind of uh, exercise, especially, uh, you know, it is uh, for the people so they are come doing Tai Chi and this is good exercise. But still, this is the, just the beginning warm up for the Tai Chi. So last week, the Yang Tai Chi A form, we are up to single whip. Okay. So the first movement is opening form. And the second movement is parting the wild horse's mind. And then it's single whip. So really, we did three movements already. And today, I will be sharing the fourth movement is called raise hand. Okay, raise hand. So from the words, you can straight away in your mind, you can imagination, oh, raise hand, raise hand, yeah. So this is a movement exactly straight away come out from your mind. Yeah, it is raise up your hand. So this is called raise hand. But how? It's not just, oh, put the hands up, it's enough. No, we have the right technique. Okay, so firstly, we have practice, okay? to remind the last few weeks we are did the opening form, the parting the wild horses. Oh, this is, the, it is, yeah, parting the wild horses mind. Yeah, then it's single whip. Okay, we did this, these three movements already, yeah? So now I do front facing to you and please just watch me. Then you can follow me. We can do a few times. And then I will turn around. You can follow me. So now just watch me. Okay? And make sure we are is opposite. So we'll be like a mirror. Okay? Opposite. So I turn right. You probably looked. I'm turning left. So don't follow me. And just watch carefully. Okay. The first movement is opening four. So breathe in. Breathe out. Heel turn. Parting while horses mind. And lift up to your left hand and heel turn. Single whip. Okay. All right. I do one more time. Please watch. Lift up your arms. Breathe in. Okay, the hand will be shoulder high and relax. And push down your palm and cock your wrist. The hand should be not flat. Okay, not flat. A little bit on the angles. Okay, now. Keep your body weight to the left, heel turn, and arms cross. Great harmony, like holding a bow, but really is not holding a bow, okay? Like, cross your arm. And lift up your right legs and step out. Parting the wild horse's mind. 
okay especially the wrist okay the right hand wrist first is water and last part is use your wrist to fly out your palm so have a little movement in here then turn body and lift up your left foot and turn your right palms down. Keep your body weight. That's what a last week, a last lesson. I will especially say our turning should be keep your body weight. You turn. And push. Hook your right hand and turn your left palm and step out, open your arms. Single whip. Okay, this movement is called. All right. All right. Now, you can follow me. Together we do practice. From the opening form to the parking the walkers' mind. Then single whip. Especially, you have to remember the single whip. You must be keep your body weight on right foot, on the front foot. This is authentic Yang style Tai Chi. It's very special point. Lots of people practice the form order is authentic, but the technique they are do is modernized. And this is all easily for the old people is a simplified Tai Chi, but uh, you know, I wish you can really understand is a very important technique because it is good for health and also it's great Tai Chi technique for Kung Fu fighting. All right then, follow me from opening form. Okay, first movement, opening form. Breathing, breathe out. This is Wu Ji Zhuang. Now, come to Tai Chi Zhuang. Keep your body weight on the left, the left heel turn, and cross out. Lift up your right foot, step out. Parting the walk with mind. And keep turning your body and make sure your palm is flat and about your chest high. Now, keep your body where heel turn. And folding your arm. And turn body back again. That was a push. Okay, now change. Hook your right fingers and turning your left palm. And this will be at the same time. Then lift up your left foot, step out, and bend your knee. Open your arms. Single whip. Okay, the arms open is 135 degrees. Okay. Follow me again. I will be continuous. Okay. Breathe in. Breathe out.
牛顿，他提的我何时生来 ？Single week， 所以，这是一个单刀。我已经告诉你，从上一节课，和当然，今天我们必须做更多的练习，关于单刀。因为单刀这个动作，它是一个非常重要的动作，在泰拳。而且，我也参加我的课程，也是因为我有很多学生。We have said some students have a question about the single whip, especially the steps. How wide it is? Okay, from left to the right. How wide it is? Okay, let me speak to you. How wide? Look. Sometimes we say about shoulder width. All right. Okay. It's very clear, shoulder width. About the shoulder wide. Now, please, because look carefully, because my body now is face to you and is flat. So this is my shoulder. Okay. So this is about uh, now. My shoulder is about around fifty. Centimeters. Shoulder wide. About fifty. So really, my shoulder wide is the, because the shoulder is here, right? A little bit over here also. It's about half meters. But look, this is I'm facing to you, and my body is flat. Is about fifty cm. But when we doing single whip, my body is not flat. My body is on the angle. Dear friend, look now. My shoulder is how wide it is. Please tell me. <laughs> so this is very hard. You actually you have to need a tailor to make a measurement exactly. So definitely you will be understand. My body if flat is around fifty centimeters, about half meters. So definitely if my body turning, so around thirty five centimeters now. At least, yeah. So this is about thirty-five centimeters. Okay. Now, look your foot. Okay. I was saying, how much the gap? Last lesson, I say the gap is about one foot. No one feet is one foot, and this foot is your shoes straight. It's not that kind of one foot. Okay, it is one foot. So this one foot gap about twelve centimeters. So twelve centimeters and plus twelve centimeters. So this is about how much? It's twenty-four centimeters. And then this is how much? This is also about twenty centimeters. So when you doing a tai chi steps, you cannot be unflat. 
okay? But actually when I'm doing single whip, my body is not a flat, it's on the angle. So this is a shoulder will be narrow. So this movement, the steps from the camera, you can see it's about one foot. But some people doing too big, like that. So this is wrong. And because he think, oh, a little bit more wider will be more confident, wrong. Because this movement is front to, to the back. So my body should be front and back. It's not a side to the side, understand? So the force is from front. If the force from the front, <coughs> excuse me, I'm too exciting. If the force from the front, if my step is too wider, so I cannot balance, understand? So this is very clear, no, okay. So we have to be, make sure it is, the gap is about only one foot, okay? Only one foot. So my shoes about 12 centimeters or maybe 10 centimeters. And the 10 plus 10 is 20. And this is about 20. So it's already about 40 centimeters. Yeah. So this is about, the, about everyone's shoes different, you know? And because I am is a tiny boy, okay? I am is not a big boy. So I'm the mini, mini boy. <laughs> My shoes is not a, that big, but everybody is different. So we say, we really cannot say how wider is used the centimeters. It's just very easy. It's just a gap, one foot and straight foot. And also your foot should be little bit over. It's not exactly your shoulder. Have to be a little bit over your shoulders. So your body is will be like mountain tip. It's not like that. It's from wider to narrow. So this is moving single whip. But many people doing single whip, okay? They are doing what movement? They're doing either. So you from the side, you can't see the mistake, but you go to the front, you look. You look the mirror from your home. It is your movement is doing like that or not. So this is many people, they are doing like that because the body weight, they are on the front. So they are very naturally to more, more, make a movement more to the left side. Like this, yeah. For example, the few movements after, why the crane spirits win? Because the body weight on the right. So many people doing this. Looks from side is okay, but it's wrong. Why? Because it's not the balance. Not keep balance. So keep balance should be, that was balance. It's not. So is not, your body way on right, your body should be on the right. Your body way on left, your body way on the left. No, it is. Body weight is front and the back, okay? So yin and yang is front and the back. But front, you look, my body should be Li sen zhong zheng. What is li sen zhong zheng? Is keep your body straight. Wherever your front body way or back body way. 
your body spine had to be straight. So this is the two thing we have to understand. So I believe people have a question last lesson about how big the gap, yeah? Only one foot, not too wider, okay? I already say, I think, I believe is already very clear to explain it. And also, the legs movement, the kick body way in front, heel turn. Okay, so many people try to heel turn in the beginning, especially before they're always turning, shifting the body weight, and the comeback. So it's like a simplified style Tai Chi. Ah, and really this simplified style, you cannot say wrong, but this is already Tai Chi exercise. It's not a Tai Chi boxing anymore because this is for older people. But this class I'm teaching, it is the authentic young style. So I have to, I have to show you the original way, okay, in front of the grandmaster. So you must be turning on the body way. So when you're turning, you have to make sure the left hips is not moved. Look, if you're turning the left and the right at the same time, then you're wrong. Then you will find it very difficult. So hold your hips and relaxing your growing. Now, turning your waist. The waist, the hips. Last time, remember I said the tank. Tank, war fighting tank. Tank car is our hips and the lower legs. The cannon is my waist. It's can turning. So you have to keep your hips and then your upper body, it is very flexible, okay? And this turning, you must be making a circle. Actually in the fighting, we are not really have to make a big circle like that. But Tai Chi exercise, Tai Chi, we are practice, we always making big circle to the small circle. So you are practice on the big circle. But really when we are using, maybe just very little. It's go. Come, give way, give way, shifting way, shifting people's way. Go back, push. So can be from big circle to the small circle, but our practice must be from the big. So you can feel it. Ah, oh, especially your waist and the hips. You can do great exercise and you can feel it. Oh, your Dan Tian. It works. So this movement we say Dan Tian Nei Xuan is circling your Dan Tian. Ah, go. But when we are using very small movement, touch, give way. Yeah. So this is what we call Ba Jing. Okay, yeah. but anyway, so the footstep is a tank car and uh, your waist and upper body is a tank cannon. So the cannon, you can turn in, okay, very flexible, but you need a car very stable. So the hips, it just, Close, 
and open after when we are open. Not when you're turning, ah, the hips moving everywhere. No. So you have to concentrate on the waist and uh, make sure your Dantian is works. Okay? Yeah. All right then. <clears throat> so this is a single whip. And also last week I say, why, why is called single whip? This is a whip, zoom, 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 right? Whip, single whip is not only Tai Chi hand. Lots of the Chinese martial art, Shaolin also have single whip, okay? And their single whip sometimes is not the both steps. Sometimes they are use the sitting steps, Dambian, and low hand, high arms, I hope, single whip. But whatever Shaolin single whip or the Tai Chi single whip, it is all is open movements. Why? It's not a narrow movement, it's all open movements. Single whip, whip. Where you using a whip? Where, when you are riding a horse, you are whipping. Okay. So when we are ride a horse, okay, we whip the horse. Cha. Okay. The horse, the bum. So we are whipping the horse, not whipping the horse neck. You can't whipping the horse tummy because your leg is here. You are whipping the back, the horse bum. And because of horse bum, you whip is no problem because lots of muscle, very thick skin. So you won't hurt him. So when you ride a horse and yeah, your hands are holding a horse and then you whip. So this is a single whip. So when we are doing a movement, instead of we are riding a horse, we are change the step. You look, it is right. Single whip. So you make sure the movement have to be open, not too narrow. Some people is very narrow here. No. If you're narrow, you're hitting yourself. Look. You don't whip yourself, okay, dear friend? Whipping the ass, the bum, the horse bum. So arms open. So very easy, left hand in front of your legs, straight. Okay, it's about. At the back, leg, hand. If your hand here, Wrong, need to open. You can see very clear, okay? Same. If your hand is not open enough, your hand will be here. This is wrong. So easily, but everybody different age, they will be doing different steps. Okay, so I'm now, I cannot say I'm young, but I'm still young, I'm 50s. But when I'm 60, by 70, 80, maybe lucky I'm still 90, still alive. By that time, maybe my step will be from that now to Narrow, narrow, narrow. 
So maybe I'm 90 years old, my single whip will be like that steps. You can see like that steps, single whip. But still my hand cannot be. Follow the principle, how big your steps, doing how big your arms movements. So you step small. So my arm should be coming narrow like that. Okay, it's not still 135 degrees. Oh, going back. So this is wrong. So whatever the step, look this. Step big, step small, narrow. So really, how big the angle your hands also depends how big the step you're doing. Okay, so I believe or most people. Uh, like uh, my brother, my Kung Fu brother, the Span Gago. Yeah, he's 60 plus, 70, I don't know, but he's still like a young boy, like 40 years old, steps very low. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, so it really depends. Everybody's different. Yeah, everybody different. Yeah. So this is a single whip. And that's very important is keep your body weight. Keep my body weight, okay? Look, I give a shifting body's balance and push back. If I'm sitting here, see, look, now I'm already losing body weight. And then turning back, this is, you cannot say, is not exercise, it is exercise. But from the principle of Tai Chi, this is wrong. So uh, that's what I'm saying, the simplified style Tai Chi, it is Tai Chi exercise, still good helping people's health. But this class, it is authentic. So I must be tell you, this single whip, when you are practice, I look, you are doing authentic or not. This is the symbol. Single whip, you did right or unright. Okay, the next movement is raise hand. Actually, I spent lots of time to remind the last movement, okay? So maybe we have a 10, 15 minutes to finish raise hand. It is this movement is not that difficult, but easy movement normally have lots of technique. Looks easy, but practice, it is uneasy, especially for the new students, you will feel your left side muscle is so burning. If you feel it, your muscle, is hurt, sore, burning, warm. This is very natural. If you feel nothing, oh, you must be something wrong in these movements, okay? All right, please watch me. I did, I doing, raise hand. One, you turn, open your palm. Two, turning body and moving elbows back and folding your arms. Two, three, lift up my hands. Step forward, four, raise hand. Okay. Now I'm facing to you. I change the direction, okay? So this is south now. And this is my left hand is east. South, east, west. My back is north. So I from single whip, watch me first. One, turning about 15 to 20 degrees only, okay? And keep your body weight. One, two, folding arms, 
elbows back, and is naturally come down. Three, circle up your palms. You can see, circle up your palms. Raise hands. Okay, now I turn again, my back to you. One, two, three. Step back, I give you see more clear my back, upper body's movements. One, to bring your hand into your body, hand into the body, elbows out. Then lift up your palms. From to you. One, open the palm and body, from angle here and flat to the front. One, but not exactly flat, okay? It is still a little bit angles, but it is compared to before, it's more flat. One, two, bring your hand to your body. Bring your hand to the body and keep your elbows out. Now, lift up your hands. Lift up your hands and shifting out to the front to give out. And then your palm should be located, left the palm located on your elbow. And the body is not a 45 degrees, okay? It's more than 45 degrees. So this body movement should be more flat, more flat. It's not wider like this, okay? It's more. So this is uh, over 45 degrees, more than 45 degrees, maybe 60 degrees, okay? 55 degrees. Uh, it's not a 45 degrees, like this is 45 degrees. Uh, hands drumming the lute. It is 45 degrees, but raise hand, it is more, more is raise hand. It's push together, but how to push is from in back. It's holding the wrist, holding the elbow here. So your opposition, the enemy, okay? Holding a wrist is a push, push together. So to break the elbow. So your body is on the angle. You have to, <clears throat> yeah. So this is a raised hand. Compared to a hand strumming the lute, a totally different, but you look similar, but it is different, big different. Okay, so especially two and three, Many people, they are drop the hands, then lift up. No, it's just very natural. One, two, just bring your hand to front of your body, around the chest area. Bring in. Then circle out. Okay, this is a three. Okay, the circle out, it is where I'm teaching. I always say, it, you know, whatever you're thinking, huh? but I say it's very easy. It's try to massage your chest. Okay? You are feeling to massage. Uh, when I'm eating nice meal, ah, oh, today is good. Ah, oh, I have food. Mm, I like the food. Uh, 
they're happy. Yeah. So it just you feel is like a massage rolling your chest. Yeah, rolling your chest. So, but it's not a touching, okay? But you have to feeling like that. So when you bring the hands in, so you are feeling, oh, it's a circle. It's a circle here. It's a little circle. You can feel it. Ah. Then you are pushing. Give up. Ah. It's not drop, lift up. No. It is in, out, out. So you really, you can feel it in here, have a circle. So you must be filled. Use your elbow and shoulder. Okay, so this is called raise hand. Please watch me whole movements and go in. One, two, three, four. Toe slightly up. Okay. And from the side, you can see more clear. <clears throat> Excuse me. One, two, three, four. Can you see? My toe is slightly up. Under the heat toe, you feel like a step on the olive. It's not orange, okay? It's not an apple. It's just olive. Yeah. So that's why the toe lift up a little bit. If your toe lift up too high, then your angle is not relaxed. So this is is not totally relaxed. Your front foot. So it's just about olive high, one and a half centimeters, very little. Yeah. And your left toe is about from 90 degrees straight, turning about 50, uh, 15, 15 to 20, okay? Between 15 or 20. Look, just this much. So your knee should be straight, pointing to the toe. My black pants, you maybe can't watch very clear, but I tell you what, the toe must be pointing my knee. Knee must be follow the toe direction. You cannot be like that. Also, definitely not doing this kind of movement. Okay? See, this is wrong. You must be open, keep straight. Okay, olive, front leg. Okay, the gap. Very little, okay? Can you see the gap? This is a half your foot for this movement. It's not one foot gap, it's half, okay, half. Raise hand, okay. All right, back to you. Follow me, we are doing practice. Single whip. One, two, three, four. Raise hand. Okay. Again, single whip. One, two, three.
three, four. Now, we from the part in the war horse's length, we're doing two movements continue. Single whip and the raise hand, we put together, okay? From part in the war horse's length. One, two, three, Four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Watch me. Please watch me. One, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, this is the raise hand. So everybody follow me again from the beginning. Opening form. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, from now, relax breathing. Okay, don't thinking about the breathing. Thinking about the movement. Okay. Heel turn, cross arms. Holding a ball. Step out. Parting the work was made. Lift up your left hand. Keep body weight, you turn. Now turning your waist, holding your hips, not moving. And turn body back and push 45 degrees. Hook your right hand to left palm. At the same time, step out, left foot. And both steps and open your both arms. 135 degrees. Heel turn, left heel turn. 15 degrees, open your right hand and keep uh, your body well on the left. Bring the hand into your body and circle up and give out your arms. Raise hand. Okay, now. Closing form. Okay, so today we are practicing the new movement, raise hand. But actually, we are only practicing about 15 minutes for these movements. It is quite easy, but you have a more practice, you can feel the difference, especially when the arms open, lots of people drop arm. That's right. You just bring arm to your body, okay? Make sure your arms, your hand, go home. Very easy, go home. Then massage your chest. And push out, give out. Okay, your palm should be on the angle. It's not flat, straight, it's not palm down. You're not definitely palms up. Palm 45 degrees down to the elbow area. Look. Okay. And cock your right hand. Press. Squeeze to the forward. Okay. All right. This is today's movement. Raise hand. Okay. Thank you for your time. And uh, hope. My Tai Chi dear friend uh, can have a good practice, okay? And uh, we are looking forward for this weekend, the second Europe culture, Tai Chi culture forum. Yeah, and 
congratulations and uh, for the great uh, opening. Okay, and we are all hope this conference will be very successful to helping the Tai Chi culture and the Chinese medicine. And uh, you know, in Europe, well, of course, uh, definitely will be for the world. It is a great opportunity. And uh, I believe this lesson will be the last lesson of 2020. And the new class, I will be see you at the new year. Okay. So in here, still, we have a few weeks ago to Christmas and the new year. In here, I'm facing to you. Okay. I wish you have a merry, merry, very merry Christmas and a very, very, very happy new year. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Master Fu. Uh, okay, um, Master Fu also answered a question this time because last night uh, uh, one of us popped him this question about how wide the step should be. And Master Fu has spent a lot of time today explaining how wide it should be and demonstrate and uh, different circumstances, the width of the step actually is different. Yeah. And also about the uh, this raising hand. Um, well, Master Fu, his class is absolutely wonderful because he gives us a lot of details and uh, a lot of demonstrations himself so that we can follow and we can keep correcting ourselves while we follow him. That's wonderful. And that actually is consistent with the neuroscientist um, seminar on Saturday. Uh, she talked about how Tai Chi and our brain, the focus mode, the monkey mode, which is random everywhere, and uh, also a correction mode. We keep correcting ourselves. Okay, come back. Then through practicing Tai Chi, our focus okay. mode gets trained <laughs> and the monkey mode gets managed, gets controlled. And that's very helpful for our mental health and how well, how efficient our brain can function. Uh, that's from Dr. Tamara Russell. Uh, she gives more information uh, on the forum. So if you are interested, please follow us on the opening day uh, on 17th of December. Uh, the time is Beijing time that's 19.30. So in the evening, 7.30 p.m. That's Beijing time. The European time, that's 12.30 uh, midday, 12.30 on Saturday, the coming Saturday, the 17th. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you very much, Master Fu. Thank you. And uh, we will see you online on Saturday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Great. great. Okay. Hi, guys. Okay. Thank you. Hi. Thank you, Any everybody. Of you? Yeah. Bye -bye. Any of you have got questions? If not, we will see you in New Year in 2023. Yes. Yeah. 23. We'll see you <laughs> after the Happy New Year. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Argentina and uh, Spain. <laughs> and this is where is a short sleeve. This is a Malaysia. 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 Ah. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, great. I miss Malaysia. Yeah, I miss Julian. <laughs> uh, okay. 
All right then. Bye bye, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much, Isabella. Bye bye. Thank you, Master Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.